Hello, Internet. My name's Chili Lounge, and uh, today I'll be doing an unboxing and review of the Brightview Air Sync HD uh, BV2322. Um, I haven't seen any unboxing or reviews of this one on YouTube yet, so um, I thought it'd be good to give you guys an idea of what's in the box and uh, how it operates. So, just a bit of a rundown on what it does. Um, it essentially transmits your video and audio um, from your um, TV output um, to another TV within your house. So, they advertise a line of sight. Um, it will work line of sight to 100 feet, I, th I think it is, and non-line of, non of sight uh, to about 33 feet. Um, so, the application I'm going to be using it for is to send um, a signal from a, um, a pay TV box from upstairs, from an upstairs bedroom to downstairs and so it goes through um, basically it's like a wooden floor but I'll, I'll show that in the, uh, the product review section but uh, let's get into what's in the box so you can see that uh, it's quite a, uh, quite a standard kind of box on the back of the box you've got um, you have a bit of a diagram of how it works um, and a few little descriptions of um, uh, how it works with 1080p and 1080i. So actually within the box you've got, let's have a look, you've got your normal instruction manuals. So you can see there's a kind of a quick start guide and also a fully blown user's manual. Now, let's have a look what we've got here. So this looks like uh, one of the units. So there's a transmitter and a receiver. So this is the Brightview transmitter. And you can see a couple of buttons there. There's a power button and channel button. And on the back, you've got your HDMI input and output. So one of the cool things about this is it does, uh, it does do pass through. So don't have to worry about using different inputs, um, sorry, different outputs from whatever you're outputting. Um, and little IR, um, be the, like the IR remote um, blaster. So you can use it for your remote control as well and power adapter. So it's fairly, it's fairly light. Um, it's about, uh, well, about 18 centimeters, uh, 18 centimeters wide. So that's the transmitter. <clears throat> Also got the receiver, which is uh, should pretty much look the same. Just will have should have just one less HDMI. Yeah, so you've got the one less HDMI there. So just uh, that's the one you plug into the TV you're outputting to, and pretty much the same power button and channel button, um, and pretty much exactly the same size by the looks of it. Yeah, so same same width, same same everything. All right. Else in the box, you've got uh, your power adapters. So, as you can probably tell from my accent, I'm in Australia. Um, they don't ship these to the Australia, so I had to use a like a mail forwarding service. So, just a normal kind of DC power adapter. Uh, so, yeah, I had to use a mail forwarding service to get this to the country, but uh, I managed to do that. And looks like your IR blaster and IR input, plus some batteries for the remote. Very important. Um, you do get one HDMI cable with this unit. Um, it's a bit of a shame because to use the pass-through on the transmitter, you do actually need an extra HDMI cable, but uh, this will obviously get it, get it working. And I've got another, another HDMI cable that I'll use as well um, in the review part of the video. So I think it's about a 1.5 meter HDMI. And it's actually, it doesn't look like it's, um, it looks like it's, it's pretty good quality as well. Like it's fairly thick. Fairly thick cable, and the, uh, the plugs are quite chunky as well. And the remote. Um, it's very small, and it's only got a few buttons. Essentially, uh, you've got the info button. I'll just uh, try and get a little bit closer there. So you've got the info button at the top right when you want to show on-screen display. Um, the channel button. And I'll just take it out of the packaging. So you can actually see what it looks like. Um, and you've got a wide button there. Uh, I think that's to boost the signal if you want to use 1080i 
and uh, it's not working too well, you can click on wide into wide mode, and that'll give you better reception. And channel if you have uh, having problems with interference. And source, I think that's for the frequency uh, for the remote. If you want to change the uh, frequency on the remote control, um, if you're getting interference with with other remotes, you can change that as well. So yeah, that's that's pretty much everything that's in the box. So you've got your uh, HDMI cable, your um, receiver and transmitter, uh, your two power adapters, and your remote. And uh, yeah, so what you'll see next is we'll flick through to uh, I'll have it set up and we'll have a look and see how it works. Um, as I said, I'm transmitting from upstairs to downstairs, so we'll see how it works with uh, non line of sight. Well. That was uh, that was pretty easy. So uh, basically, I've got it hooked up. This is the transmitter end. So I'm transmitting from. Uh, I've got my Foxtel box there, um, and it's got the little infrared remote receiver. And up here on the bench, I've got my transmitting device. And you can see I'm using pass through for the HDMI. Sorry, it's a little bit dark there, but uh, we're doing the best we can. And I'll just move it forward so you can see. So when it's transmitting, you've got um, the little link uh, icon is uh, is blue, and power is obviously blue as well. So and now we'll go and have a look and see what the output is. All right, so here we are at the receiving end, and uh, you can see I've got the uh, I've got it outputted. Um, uh, from my Foxtel, and it's um, Foxtel's currently showing Avatar, so there you go. Um, so I press info, it'll bring up um, on screen display, and it shows you I've got three bars of signal, channel four, and I've got wide mode on. Um, it worked fine with wide mode off, but I thought I'd just turn it on anyway um, just to see how it worked. And it's currently outputting um, in Foxtel. Outputs 576p, and uh, yeah, so you can see basically it's going upstairs, downstairs. So it's about 23 feet, I think. Um, if if it was line of sight, it'd be about 23 feet, but it's going through a floor. Uh, it's like a wooden floor. And uh, just to show you that the receiver's on, pretty much the same as a transmitter. So blue light for power and blue light for sync. And I've got my HDMI cable plugged in there. So yeah, I mean it it took me about. Uh, it took, took me barely no time at all to um, to have it all kind of set up and plugged in. So, um, you know, ease of use and setting up is really, really easy. I'll just turn that on-screen display off. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I, I have no issues at all. I mean, in terms of picture quality, it's pretty much, um, I mean, you can see with the video here, it's pretty much perfect. I can't see any kind of compression um, or anything going on there. So, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely recommend this product. Um, Hopefully it still keeps working, um, kind of moving forward. But yeah, I mean, right now it's it's uh, excellent, easy to use, easy to set up. Um, pitch quality is great, and um, in terms of the remote, I'll just kind of show you how that works. So yeah, if I'm changing channels, it's pretty much really fast. There's no kind of delay, or there's no kind of noticeable delay um, happening with regards to changing channels. So yeah, um, I'd say it's uh, excellent. So thank you very much. For watching that, I um, hope you enjoyed my unboxing and review of the Brightview UltraSync HD. And uh, like this video and uh, add any comments if you like. Um, if you have any questions, I'll try and answer them. But yeah, thank you very much.